Hello, welcome back. This is again Prof. Miles for another segment of Miles Minutes. This time we'll be focusing on the development of the camera. Let's begin. The first patented film camera was designed by a Frenchman who, Louis Le Bruns, in 1888. This groundbreaking invention led to the creation of other film cameras, such as the kinetographic camera in 1891, which was powered by an electric motor. It was probably huge. Eventually, cheaper forms of the movie camera were made accessible to the general public, and it received an upsurge in popularity following World War II. In the 1960s, a new file format called Super 8 came out, which allowed for the capacity to both record sound as well as video. This was nice because... Richie, hey, hey, Rich, hey! Yep, not yet, not yet! Not yet! It's better. This was nice because it coincided with the battery-operated camera, which made it very convenient to both record again sound and video. Now, in the late 1980s, Sony began to develop something they called electronic cinematography, better known today as the digital movie camera. One of the first well-known movies that was filmed with a digital camera was Star Wars Episode II, Attack of the Clones. Filming with digital movie cameras has become very common in major motion pictures because it saves a lot of money in production since film is so expensive. The digital camera. Digital. Got to enunciate. Digital camera. It's come a long way. The DSLR, digital single reflex lens. Say that a thousand times. Don't. You might know what it already means. Figure it out. And they're very popular nowadays. Mr. King himself uses a 5D Mark III for many of his filmmaking, and they also take wonderful photos, still photography, as some call it, as well as video and even sometimes capture smells. But of course, we all know they were used on films like The Avengers for point of view scenes in order to get nice quality shots, but also not having to lug those big heavy cameras around. And they're relatively cheap if you can you know, drop a couple grand on it. Not this guy but they can, so we let them do it. And they get away with it, it's nice. As you can see, the digital camera has come a long way and has become accessible to the everyday user like you and me. Now, for the rest of this time, you can relax with me or go make yourself some nice pound cake, cheesecake, whatever. We'll see you next time.